Hi everyone. Welcome to Clone Compounding, where our mission is to learn from others in order to achieve financial independence. In today's video, we're diving into a fascinating investment decision that has raised many eyebrows, Warren Buffett's acquisition of shares in Occidental Petroleum. In this video, we'll uncover the reasons behind this move, exploring insights from experts and analyzing Buffett's investment philosophy. Now, let's get started. The Beginning This is not the first time Mr. Buffett has dabbled in oil and gas stocks. In 2008, Berkshire Hathaway built a 5.5% stake in ConocoPhillips before its stock price plummeted amid a crash in oil prices due to an economic slowdown. Mr. Buffett conceded in his annual shareholder letter, L. Last year I made a major mistake. Without urging from anyone else, I bought a large amount of ConocoPhillips stock when oil and gas prices were near their peak. I in no way anticipated the dramatic fall in energy prices that occurred. I still believe the odds are good that oil sells far higher in the future, but so far I have been dead wrong. Mr. Buffett first invested $10 billion in Occidental in 2019 to help fund its purchase of Anadarko Petroleum. Berkshire received 100,000 shares of preferred stock, which pays an annual dividend of 8% and warrants to buy almost 84 million shares at $59.624 per share. A warrant gives the holder the right but not the obligation to purchase the shares at a specified price. Since that 2019 purchase, over the last four years Berkshire has bought Occidental shares many times and now owns over 25% of the company. Its position is valued at around $14.2 billion. The conglomerate has regulatory approval to acquire up to 50% of Occidental. But why, many think, is Mr. Buffett buying oil and gas companies' stock? Aren't these companies dying as the world moves towards renewables and low-carbon energy sources? Let's look at the three reasons why Mr. Buffett is doing this. Three reasons for buying Occidental. First, the energy sector is reasonably undervalued. Many believe that the fossil fuels industry is going the way of the dinosaurs. Mr. Buffett, however, seems to think that there are years of strong earnings power left for oil and gas companies. He said in an interview earlier this year that at least the same amount of oil and possibly more will be produced five years from now. Buffett also sounded optimistic about the opportunities for companies such as Occidental in carbon capture technology. As for valuations, the energy sector is the cheapest sector in the entire S&P 500 right now. The energy stocks in Berkshire's portfolio underscore this. Chevron's forward price to earnings ratio is around 12. Occidental's shares trade at less than 15 times forward earnings, even after skyrocketing close to 120% since the beginning of last year. Second, Occidental's business operations. Occidental made a massive purchase of Anadarko Petroleum back in 2019, which gave it the number one position in the high-producing Permian Basin in Texas, along with a leading position in the DJ and Uinta Basins in Colorado. Indeed, 80% of Occidental's production now occurs in the U.S., with most of that in the Permian, along with significant production in the Colorado basins as well as offshore in the Gulf of Mexico. This protects Occidental from the significant geopolitical risks that are common for oil and gas companies. With a significant presence in various regions across the country, including the Permian Basin, one of the world's most prolific oil and gas regions, Occidental has established a robust infrastructure for exploration, production, and distribution within its home market. This emphasis on U.S. operations not only underscores the company's deep-rooted expertise in American energy markets but also positions it to navigate potential shifts in the global energy industry while capitalizing on its strong domestic foundation. 
It appears Buffett very much likes the growth potential in the Permian, in which projects can be brought online relatively quickly in response to higher oil prices. But it appears he also likes some diversification, with existing conventional plays already active and pumping and throwing off cash without the need for sustained capital expenditures. Those assets can especially be leaned on in a market downturn. Another reason Buffett may be sweet on Occidental is its technology chops, which have led to some of the most efficient drilling practices in the industry. In addition, Occidental already has a lot of experience using CO2 injection in its operations, and it's in a great position to invest in new carbon capture technology. Previously, Occidental either sourced C02 from others or recovered it from its own operations. But if it can capture carbon dioxide from heavy-emitting third-party operations, it's a win-win. Management is looking to seize the opportunity, with seed investments in several carbon removal and recycling technologies. This year, Occidental will begin construction on its first direct air capture, DAC, plant in Texas. Occidental has also bought 400 acres of land for several carbon sequestration hubs. As those projects come online, Occidental stands to collect revenue as well as carbon dioxide removal credits, which it can resell to other industries. While many were fixated on the immediate challenges, Mr. Buffett saw the bigger picture. As the world transitions towards renewable energy, oil and gas stocks have faced increased scrutiny. However, Occidental's strategic assets and established operations position it to weather the changing energy landscape. He's essentially betting on Occidental's adaptability and potential for cash flow generation to persist even in a changing world. Third, a good deal. Now, let's talk about how Mr. Buffett structured this deal to his advantage. Rather than purchasing common stock, which comes with regular market risk, Mr. Buffett opted for preferred stock with an 8% annual dividend. This means that while others were facing uncertainty about the market's performance, Mr. Buffett secured a consistent income stream, regardless of the company's stock performance. It's a classic example of turning market volatility into a strategic advantage. One of Mr. Buffett's key principle is the concept of a margin of safety. This essentially means investing at a price significantly below the intrinsic value of the asset to protect against unforeseen downturns. With Occidental Petroleum, Buffett applied this principle by negotiating a sweet deal that provided a safety net in case things didn't go as planned. Buffett's preferred stock also came with a feature that allowed him to convert it into common stock if Occidental's share price reached a certain threshold. This not only protected his investment but also gave him the potential to benefit from any future share price appreciation. For now, that's it from us. Hope you enjoyed and learned from this video. Smash that like button and subscribe to receive more videos on memos and write-ups from top investors. Thanks for watching.